Today we're hanging out at Intercept Youth with Tim and Tara Wall. They're two adoptive parents, foster parents turned adoptive parents here with Intercept Youth. And I'm excited to learn more about their story here in our Foster Friday segment. So Sarah, when you guys first signed up to be foster parents, you guys took a little bit of time before you accepted a family into your, a child into your family. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while to get the right fit. Mm -hmm. um, we already have four kids at home, and we knew we wanted to have a few more. And then when we knew um, they weren't able to go home, um, we took a chance and brought them in. Yeah. I think that's important, too, is that it's not suddenly an overnight thing. You sign up, and then the next day there's kids in your house that are strangers to you. You can really you know, work through the process, get the training that you need. Yeah, there were a few hard no's that we had to make in that process. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. as far as um, there were some, some, some health issues that we just knew that we weren't the best fit, um, and then also some, some ages uh, with, with some of our, our biological kids in the house that it just, it, it wasn't wise, it wasn't, wasn't smart to do that way. So yeah, even though it was difficult to say no, we had yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a happy ending for you guys because you had a boy placed in your home and now you've adopted him. Uh, we're headed in that direction. Yeah, paperwork's turned over and when we knew um, that he wasn't able to go home, um, he also had a sister that was in care and so we were able to bring her in too and start bringing her into our family. So now you guys have six kids under your roof. We do. And me. Yeah. <laughs> and what is that, all, that whole journey, what is it like now when you walk into your home and think, wow, there's so many kids here and you guys are taking care of all of them? Uh, it depends on um, the, the ages. <laughs> <laughs> there are two six-year-old boys in our home right now, if you can paint a picture like that, <laughs> all the way up to our 15-year-old daughter. Uh, there's lots of laughter. And then little sis that we brought into, she's seven. Mm -hmm. um, so now we have a little bit more pink and purple in the house in between the Nerf guns and yeah. the hooping and hollering. And um, thanks to grocery pickup and a flexible work schedule, we're, we're figuring out how to make it work. Yeah. And so you guys were telling me that if this isn't really the right decision for people, you know, having kids into their home, there are a lot of other ways that they can help. So what have you guys found that is really helpful for you? Um, getting involved in the community, in the, the foster community, um, through organizations like Intercept. Um, if you're not able to commit to the, the whole gamut of, of what it takes, um, find somebody that you can help out. Uh, there's mentorship programs. There's all sorts of things that you can do. If you can take a couple of the kids for a few hours, mm -hmm. you know, it, it can be a, a, a tremendous help. Yeah. And there's really been a sense of community for you guys in Intercept Youth because you've taken your knowledge and now you're helping other parents. And I think that's really great. So even if it's just a simple text, phone call to say, how are you doing? It's true. And it's taken a while to find that. You know, we've had our little guy for about 18 months now and we've stumbled a lot, you know, um, learning um, what to do, what not to do. And thanks to the other parents, our caseworkers, you know, everybody involved with these kids truly, truly cares about these kids. Um, we're, we just had to figure out what was best for us and, and how to find that help. Yeah. And when you're welcoming new children into your family, obviously you want to be well trained and here at Intercept Youth Services they offer all, all the training that you need. So can you walk me through what that was like from day one when you came here the very first time? Uh, it couldn't have been easier to go through Intercept. There are about um, 12 training sessions and they work with your schedule. We were able to come in the evenings and even double up some of our classes. So we flew through it. You're getting the information. It doesn't cost you anything. You can learn about the kids. And then once you get your foot in the door and kind of see the need, you can see where you fit in in that area. What is your specialty? It doesn't have to be yes. Getting a child for um, you know however many months, you can say yes for an afternoon. You can say yes for a weekend while some people might need a break. Um, you can volunteer to help with their homework. You can send them dinner. There's just so many ways that you can help if you're just aware of what the need is in the community and where you fit in that way. I think our training was, uh, I think we had it finished in like five weeks mm -hmm. um, and we did. We did double up a couple but it, it wasn't that difficult no. and then there is some ongoing training but even just if you find someone that you know uh, you know a church or family yeah. that is fostering just give them a call give them a text and and see what you can do to help them out it can be that simple mm -hmm. well if you guys would like more information about intercept youth services we're here at the location 5673 airport road in roanoke you can give them a call 844-987-KIDS or check them out online interceptyouth.com